I said, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey babies, it's Joy Navon and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So today I'm going to show you guys this really easy, simple, like everyday drugstore makeup look. First thing I like to do is use my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealers. The top one is in the color Fawn and the bottom one is in the color Chestnut. Now I just like to outline my brows, it just since I have thick brows, it just makes it easier for me to fill them in. Now the brow that's filled in already, I actually was using my NYX um, eyebrow pencil, but it broke, so I had to use something else. But as you can see, they both turned out the same way, so it doesn't matter, just as long as it's not black, you're good. Now using the Santee Brow Gel Mascara, I'm just going to use this to set my brows in place all day long so they don't move around. Now I'm using the e.l.f. face primer. You guys, oh my god. This face primer is so good. Like it just makes your skin feel amazing. And now I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is in the color Cafe. I really just love this concealer. But I'm going to basically put this all over my face. <laughs> no, because honestly, I had a rash this week and it really just, it's gone now, but it just left a whole bunch of dark marks and stuff. So I'm really packing this on. I usually don't have to do this much, but we'll get through it. And now I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color Coconut. And... I find that this foundation works best for me if I put it on with a damp beauty blender, so that's what I'm doing here. I really like this foundation because it does have sunscreen in it and it is for normal to dry skin and my skin is definitely on the drier side so it helps plus it has a dewy smooth finish and they do have one that comes in a matte finish. I know my foundation looks a little bit light, but you know, it's summertime, so I do have a tan, but we're gonna blend it all together, it's fine. And now, using the same concealer, I'm going to highlight the highest points of my face. And I'm blending this in with a damp beauty blender as well. Again, this is my Real Technique sponge from Walmart. It's really cheap. Just highlighting all the highest points in my face. Next, I'm taking my Airspun Loose Face Powder and I'm just setting my face, baking my face, whatever you want to say, um, onto all the areas of my face that I highlighted. And this is in the color Naturally Neutral. I basically leave this on my face for like a minute, <laughs> if that long. And I like to blend it away with my e.l.f. stippling brush. Stippling brush? Stippling brush? I think that's how you say it. Now I'm going in with my Revolution Redemption Eyeshadow Palette. This is in Iconic 2. And I really like it because it has these brown shadows in it. And I'm just going to take a brown and just pack it all over my lid. Next, I like to take the darker brown shadow in the palette and just put it in my 
um, outer corners of my eyelid kind of like a little cut crease but not really but this is literally what I do to my face every day not every day but every time I do my makeup this is basically like my go-to basically like it's just so easy so easy then I'm going to highlight the inner tear ducts of my eye with the gold eyeshadow in the palette just for some extra oomph and of course you know you have to put it on the brow bone for the brow bone highlight hello of course now I'm going in with my LA colors liquid eyeliner this is my holy grail eyeliner it's just so so perfect and so cheap and so easy to use now I'm using my Maybelline The Colossal Volume Mascara. A lot of people really, really, really like this mascara. For a drugstore mascara, I can understand why. It really works. I'm doing some light contouring, I guess you could say, with the e.l.f. Contour Palette. And I'm just using the darkest shade in the palette and putting it all over my cheeks and my forehead. I'm highlighting using the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette and I just kind of played in the colors and I found the, I guess, right shade for me. And I'm putting that all over the highest points of my face as well. A little trick I like to use is to take my damp beauty blender and press it into, press the highlight into my face so it's not just sitting on my face. And I'm going to put on some car eyelashes. This is optional. You don't have to wear eyelashes if you want, but I can't get away from them. And I, of course, use my Duo Glue. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. Lip Exfoliating Lip Balm. It just kind of gets rid of that dry lip feeling. And then I'm going to, of course, use my NYX Lip Lingerie Matte um, lipstick I really love this color like it dries matte of course and it's just so pretty and of course I have to set my face with the NYX matte setting spray and that is pretty much it you guys I hope you really really enjoyed this easy simple back to school inspired makeup look I hope to see you next time make sure you subscribe like and share bye